Hi, my name is Victoria Calvin, and I'm the owner of Splish and Splash Mobile Pet Spa in Miami, Florida. Let's talk a little bit about how to compare dog clippers. The most important thing to consider is rotary speed per minute. This will determine how easy it will be to get through difficult coats and mats. Clippers come in two different variations, single speed and variable speed. For the novice groomer, a single speed is always the best option because it does not heat up as fast as a double speed. Weight is also something you should take into consideration. The lighter the clipper, the easier it will be to maneuver around the pet and the less stress it will cause on your hand. Compatibility of clipper blades is also something you should look into. While some brands can use interchangeable blades, which are much easier to find and much less expensive, some require a very specific blade that can only be ordered through the manufacturer. If you do not want to deal with that headache, you can also use an Andis or an Oster, which has universal blade fittings, which you can find at any pet retail store. When comparing dog clippers, you also have the option to use a corded or cordless version of the clipper. Cordless versions are usually slower and while they may be more convenient for those tight to reach spots, the battery does tend to run out in about 45 minutes. The corded options have more power and you do not have to worry about your battery capacity. Make sure to purchase the manufacturer suggested clipper oil. If you use the wrong kind of oil, this can ruin the clipper blade. 